Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. <sighs> How did I get so lucky to get the house all to myself today? I am, welcome to the Crystal Crawford Show. I'm Crystal Crawford and I'm in Colorado and I'm at my sister's house and I've got Christmas music playing. <laughs> so I'm actually here at my sister's with, uh, hi Hannah, um, with her two, with my two nephews, Simon and Jacob. Hi Simon, hi Leanne, hi guys, Merry Christmas. Um, and uh, I might turn the music off in a second. Can you guys hear me over the music? I love it, I just wanna like, I was gonna play the piano for you guys, but I don't have a piano here at this house, so I can't. So I'm on YouTube with uh, <laughs> with someone else who's playing for me. Oh my gosh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um, maybe I'll keep this playing in the background. Let's see how that goes. I, uh, I, I don't know that this will be too long today. I just wanted to pop on here and, and chat with you a little bit about, um, I wasn't sure how today would go. I wasn't sure. Hi, Dorotea. Hi, Michael. Hi, you guys. Um, I'm, I'm going to end up talking about gratitude today. And it, this used to be one of those topics for me that I would tune out. You know, when people would talk about gratitude, I would just like turn things off and go out of the room. And um, But there has been... There's been so much, being around my family is such a great facilitator or indicator of what I've chosen and how I've changed. And one of the things, I've just noticed so many different things this year than I ever have. And it's been a really long time for me for the, that I've actually been able to be around my family and, and be me. And, um, and so I always have things that come up, but this time more than anything, the thing that's just been up in my world is gratitude. Like gratitude for being here, gratitude for being with these people, gratitude for getting to be their aunt, Auntie Crystal, like how did I get so lucky? And um, so I was looking at like, I was looking at what I could gift you, um, just in case gratitude isn't something that's running through your world, you know? And there is this clearing that I found in the reference materials a while back, and I've been using for a bunch of different things, but it goes like this, and it goes, what gratitude for your life, exactly as it is, are you refusing that you truly could be choosing, that if you would choose it, hi Maggie, um, would allow you to create it as everything you've always desired it to be, but have been refusing to choose? So what gratitude for your life, exactly as it is, are you refusing that you truly could be choosing, that if you would choose it, would allow you to create it as everything you've always desired it to be, but have been refusing to choose? And everything that is times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, lane, shorts, poison, beyonds. And um, truly this year more than ever, I've been really asking in all of, in, in my whole entire life when I'm alone and, you know, just on my own and, I've been asking to be and know and perceive and receive more. You know, like if for you to be able to receive more money, you have to be able to receive for you but for you to have more money in your life, you have, you have to be able to be and receive money. For you to have more uh, people in your classes, you have to be able to be and receive more people in your classes. This is how this actually works. And so, I've been really going after like what is being, what is receiving, what is knowing, what is perceiving. And um and really got the awareness this trip about how much I've been blocking receiving anything from my family. And as I was looking at that today, I, I kept looking at it from the angle of like, well, I'm not willing to receive from them, or I'm not willing to receive judgment, or I'm not willing to receive self-righteousness, or I was looking at from the outside in, like I'm not willing to receive this. But then I was like, um, for any of, for any, I, I just a, like a quick thing, for anything that anybody else is doing or being to bother you, you have to have already judged it about you. So, I mean, all of us have different kind of scenarios with our family. Some of us have, some of us have more trigger happy families. Some of us are really, you're having a great time. All it's, whatever is true for you is great. Um, but like if you have a family that tends to push your buttons more, hi Karinka then what's actually happening is that in your world, you've bought those things as real and true about you. 
And I found myself looking at this thing that, that, that goes on in my family in particular with these people that I really care about, that I've cared about for a lot of years. Um, hi Katya, Merry Christmas. I find myself observing like and wishing that like my sisters didn't see themselves, I wish they didn't see themselves as wrong. Right, that, that's one of the things that I found myself saying to myself. I'm like, God, I wish, you know, my youngest sister in particular, hi Karinka, Merry Christmas, is such a gift. She's so brilliant, she's so creative. And when I look into her world, there's all of this defense around trying to be a right and good person, you know? And so she's really, she's very sensitive around those things because she's defended, because she's already decided somewhere in her world that she's wrong, the base decision, the, the fundamental decision. And so as I was looking into her world going, God, I really wish that that wasn't true for her. I looked into my world and I saw the same thing. And um, it was just this moment of like, I really have been walking around <laughs> the, the world for as long as I can remember just knowing I was wrong and trying to prove that I'm not or outcreate that I'm not or pock and pod myself enough that I'm not. And the truth is I'm not. But what we do is we create this symbiotic relationship. There's this new clearing out in Access right now. This sounds so technical and so un-Christmas, but we create this symbiotic relationship with the wrongness that's just rampant in this reality. Like in this reality, you have to prove yourself. You have to create yourself into something. You don't just come in as a gift. But the truth is that you do. I've got these two little nephews running around here. They're out at the park right now, I think. <laughs> I was gonna invite them onto the video, but their dad took them to the park. So, and one is eight and one is five, and they don't know that they're wrong. They're just being themselves. They're just being the gift that they are. And, you know, I don't remember a time when I felt that way personally, but I'm sure at some point I was just being the gift that I was. And so, you know, they add to everything. Their, their noise adds to everything, and their delight in toys adds to everything. And, you know, and they just are. They just are a gift. And at some point, we dropped that. And, and we just started buying that we were innately wrong. And I, I just, what symbiotic relationship with the reality of wrongness are we using to create what we can never receive are we choosing? And everything that is times a godzillion can we destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. You are not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, and it doesn't matter. Nothing about you matters. There's this song that, um, in my Christian days, there's this musician named Don Francisco, and he was really popular in the Christian crowd in the 60s and the 70s. And he's got this song, it goes, I don't care where you've been sleeping, I don't care who made your bed. I already gave my life to set you free. There's no thing you can imagine that is stronger than my love. It's all right if you come home again to me. And that song for me in my Christian days was like, I would cry every single time I heard it, you know, because for me at that time, Jesus and Christianity was a way to not be wrong, like he'd taken all my wrongness and he loved me no matter what. And there was this unconditional space of just, of love. And, and that, at that time was the gift that I, that I, that was in my world at the, at the time. And, and what I get now is like, that's my song from me to me, of like, I don't care where you've been sleeping. I don't care who made your bed. I have already, I am, you are already a gift just as you are. And um, and I'll answer that question and thank you. And if you guys have questions, I mean, this is Christmas Eve, so I'm sure there's stuff that's up. Please ask me, I'll talk about it. Um, you are already a gift. So what symbiotic relationship? Meaning, the little bird on the rhinoceros back, you know, where they have this symbiotic thing where when the birds go away, the rhinoceros is suffering. If the rhinoceros is went away and the birds suffer, what symbiotic relationship with the wrongness of this reality have you created? that maintains and entrains you to the thing you can never choose or change. And everything that is times a godzillion, will you destroy and create all that? 
right wrong good bad pod pock online shorts was me on some this with gratitude for you exactly as you are are you refusing that you truly could be choosing that if you would choose it would allow you to create you as everything you've always desired to be but have been refusing to choose and everything that is times a godzillion right wrong good bad pod pock online shorts boys and beyonds Cool. So please ask me questions if you have them. I'm here and we're here together and how does it get better than that? And um, so how can I make others understand that my kids are a gift and not in need of being repaired? Well, the thing is, my friend, is you can't make other people do fucking anything. <laughs> you can't make them see that they're a gift. You can't make them see your kids are a gift. The only thing that you can do is be and know and perceive and receive what you be and what you know and what you receive and what you can perceive. Other people are going to see your, see what they see because they see it. My beautiful sister who thinks that she's wrong at the very base of her being is a gift, even when she doesn't see it. And I can't make her see it, but what I can do, what I can be, is I can just know and be and know and perceive and receive the gift that I am. And the more that I'm willing to be, know, perceive, and receive the gift that I am, and the more I'm willing to just be grateful for the gift that she is, even, and I'm using her as a particular example, but even when she's functioning in ways that I'm like, ah, oh, that, you know, there's greater possibilities available, there's different choices available, I know that. But my willingness to be grateful for her exactly as she is will create something different in the world. One of the things we got at the Certified Facilitator class just a couple weeks ago in Australia was that gratitude is an element of creation. It's a molecule, actually. And it's, 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 so the more gratitude creates, gratitude creates. And I've had a, a lot of moments in my life where gratitude felt like this impossible thing to choose, where judgment just felt so much more real and pain felt more real and hurt felt more real than gratitude. And getting to gratitude felt like this like fucking chasm that I couldn't even get to. Your son went from two minutes of bars to 10 tonight and I'm so proud. Well, how much gratitude can you just have for that and for him and for you? And I guess that's really the thing that that's the, the energy that I want to give you today is like, or just share with you or create with you is like, what gratitude for ourselves exactly as we are can we truly be choosing? That if we would choose it, we'd create a completely different possibility in the world. I really, really got high, high, high Bert, um, that the more, the more I'm willing to just be with these beautiful people that are doing the best they can with the tools they have available, making the choices that they know work for them. The more that I'm willing to be exactly as I am, which is the shining light of whatever this is, right? The possibility of, of you always have choice, of you're a gift exactly the way you are. Um, the more I'm willing to be that, the more things have the possibility of just shifting and changing. And I don't have to create this into a specific thing. I get to just receive it exactly as it is. So what gratitude for you, exactly as you are, are you refusing? That you truly could be choosing, that if you would choose it, would allow you to create it as everything you've always desired it to be, but have been refusing to choose. And everything that doesn't allow that to show up, will you destroy it and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, online, shorts, boys and beyonds. And so, what could you choose to add to today for you, for it, whether it's today or tomorrow or any day, that would increase your level of gratitude? What music could you put on? What walk could you take? What conversation could you have? What observing could you do that would like swell the level of gratitude in your world? Um, just that. I don't care where you've been sleeping. I don't care who made your bed. I already gave my life to set you free. There's no thing you could imagine that is stronger than my love. It's all right if you come home again to me. And that is you coming home to you. You know, that's the gift you get to be for you today. That's the gift you can be for other people. And if you don't make where they're functioning from real, if you don't make the pain and the judgment that they function from real, and you just look at it and you go, okay, cool. If you don't make it real that they judge you and you just let it be there, you can just be grateful for them. And you can just be grateful for you. And nothing ever has to change. 
what gratitude for your life exactly as it is are you refusing that you truly could be choosing that if you would choose it would allow you to create it as everything you've always desired it to be but have been refusing to choose and everything that is times a godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds all right so merry christmas merry christmas eve i'm so incredibly grateful for you i'm so incredibly grateful that you honor me with your presence on my lives and in my life and um, I'm gonna go to the park and play because play <laughs> I might change my shirt Merry Christmas